Now then, part of the reason why clubs are so keen not to spend money in this January transfer window is that so many of them have had their fingers burned mid-season before. Here's a mirror football guide to five of the worst signings of the January transfer window. Now, at number five is Benny McCarthy. He moved from Blackburn to West Ham for £2.5 million last year. He was handed a healthy pay rise, even though he'd been struggling to get into the Blackburn team at the time. He made 14 appearances for the Hammers, and he scored no goals, but he put on lots of weight in that time. West Ham eventually terminated his contract for £1.5 million, with the vice chairman, Karen Brady, calling him a big, fat mistake. And number four is Fernando Torres, who moved from Liverpool to Chelsea on this day last year. He was a complete disaster. Never has 50 million of your English pounds been spent more badly in the domestic game. He was brought in by Roman Abramovich over Carlo Ancelotti's head. And had he actually scored some goals, then maybe the Italian might still be in a job. And number three, Jose Antonio Reyes. He moved from Sevilla to Arsenal in 2004. He was a good player, but he never really hit top form in London, even though he ended up with a Premier League winner's medal six months after he arrived. Now, he spent ages moaning about being homesick for Spain before eventually joining Real Madrid in a swap deal with Julio Baptista a couple of years later. And number two, Afonso Alves, who moved from Heerenveen in Holland to Middlesbrough for £12.7 million in 2008. Now, Middlesbrough, they succeeded with Juninho, they succeeded with Ravinelli, but they were out of luck with this particular Brazilian who was basically useless. He scored 45 goals in 38 games for the Dutch side, but he only hit four for Borough as they were relegated. And of course at number one, Andy Carroll, Newcastle to Liverpool, £35 million. He raised eyebrows when Liverpool paid his transfer fee and he's been raising eyebrows ever since with his failure to justify the Reds' massive investment. He scored just four goals in 24 appearances and Liverpool are believed to have offered him to rival clubs in a bid to try and rectify their mistake 